got the, the autopilot on, <clears throat> going 15 to 20. It's uh, it's holding pretty good here. I got a, a single reef in the main. Both the head sails out. We're doing six and a half knots. So uh, auto, autopilot's doing well. <clears throat> Left sail area makes the boat go over less. But uh, we're just going to dick around. I'm going to try to learn how to heave two today. Heave two is when you you back the jib, you're basically parking the boat. It's uh, it stops you from moving. It's also a storm tactic that I don't know how to do. So we're going to try that today. So we're running with the sea now. That's usually the hardest, uh, hardest to steer. Not totally running with it, but we're going to run with it here. It's dead downwind. I don't have a pole, so I can't run actually downwind. But we'll get as close as we can. And it's steering all right. Usually this would be the hardest point to steer on. She's moving around, but doing good. Sure beats hand steering. So it's supposed to be six foot seas and 20 knots here a little bit later uh, we're just gonna cruise around that's Boca Chica key right next to Key West it's a uh, naval they say it's a listening station the Straits of Florida I guess are a st strategic shipping lane for the United States so it's uh, heavily guarded I guess all the every, all the produce and everything coming out of Mexico and and the uh, South America comes up through Straits of Florida, which is I guess about 20 miles out there. We're in Hawk Channel now, which is close to shore. Then you got a reef, and then you got the Straits of Florida. That's why they have the forts here. They were protecting them. Well, I'm pretty impressed with the autopilot. It's doing seven knots here. I don't know, I must have got lucky with the sails. I don't I don't know how to get to seven knots, but uh, there's no no current either, so seven knots over ground is pretty good. We're gonna go out in the golf. I'm trying to heave two out there. I mean you're supposed to heave two to break the waves, but I uh, don't have enough skills. I could attack through the waves to heave two, so I'll try it out here and get the sails figured out and then I'll try it in the waves. I'm hope to. But I'm drifting one knot, so I'm probably not. But I'm not full reach, and I have that buoy out there showing. So what I have now is the, the rudder's trying to turn the boat this way, but the head sail is trying to keep the boat that way. So all that force is pushing the boat down, and it's supposed to park the boat. And with a full keel boat like this, it's supposed to make like a slick back here of eddies that uh it looks like the water still looks like we're still sailing you see the bubbles are going past me um i guess we'll have to maybe we'll let the main out a little bit well close hold in uh 20 knots of wind and a light chop uh autopilot's handling really well i'm really satisfied with it solar panels keeping up with it so we're actually charging the batteries as we're using the solar panels so you can see it's, it steers pretty good yeah I didn't tell you guys about the um, the spare bedroom I just pulled I just got some real estate here I pulled out the spare bedroom so that is what we're working with now 6 a.m. We're leaving Key West. We're gonna head back to Maryland today. Try to get a jobby job. Snoop Doggy Dog need a jobby job. So we're departing Key West now. It's supposed to be about 20 knots, four foot seas. So uh, it's not really beautiful, but doable. Sunrise in the Keys. 
That looks like something out of a picture. So we're gonna beat into the wind and the waves today. We're gonna to try to get, I don't know, I'd like to do 50 miles a day, but you know. Fucking crab pots. Boy, I wish they were illegal. So, I'm gonna cut, cut through that bridge. That span of bridge is busted out. We're gonna cut through there. That's uh, this is where I anchored the one time out in the ocean because I couldn't see where that where that hole was in the bridge. But uh, hopefully I can see it. Hopefully we get through there, and we're gonna anchor there for the night. Shitty day. Out of the slop. Got to the cut here. Gonna hang here tonight. So we sailed 60 miles today, but it, we only traveled as a crow flies 30 miles. So it was a long day to get 30 miles. I'm uh, trying to get to Miami by Tuesday to get under this weather. It's supposed to be a lull here in the weather, but after today I'm rethinking it. I don't know. Another day beaten. Got a double reef main. Still out. Of course, we got to go that way, directly into the wind and the waves again. So probably not get much in today, but I'm trying to get home. Sombrero key light. I guess it looks like a sombrero. But the weather looks like it's it's getting better, but it don't look like it's gonna be better. So maybe that's the calm before the storm. Before, when I get my anchorage, I got a, uh, I got a couple books here on the intercoastal waterway. This one's uh, Skipper Bob. It's all about anch free anchorages along the way. Well, good place to anchor. It's a good book. So I just plot it on my chart and I write it in my log and I program my uh, all my stuff for the next day so I can go try to uh, get to where I got to go. And that's uh, pretty much the routine. And have a couple ramens.